Yeah. Representatives film, the like so no. Thompson film. No, see, that's a, it, because Tink is involved on both films, that's where the confusion is. You know, it's like, you know, Tink Thompson was involved in the Hot Select Committee film, and that film is what he shows in the Fifth Estate back in 1977, and it's not nearly as clear as the film that you have right now in your hands. And that film was made in 1988 for the Nova program, and Tink Thompson just happened to be narrating that film as well. In fact, you even how do you see? I lived in uh, Groton was working for the House Committee, so how does this? You're saying that Thompson made the film that they used for their study, or they he provided it, or well, maybe maybe that's a bad choice of words. Let's put it this way. It was for Josiah Thompson, whether he physically made it, but he represented the film, for lack of a better word. Yeah. Okay, but you, I mean, have you talked to Tink about all this? Did he explain it to you? No, to be honest with you, no. And I'm getting that straight from where I got the film in Canada, the guy who, you know, gave it to me. Uh -huh. That's what he's telling me. And the only reason I believe him is because... I do have the Fifth Estate program, and I do have the Nova program, and it matches quality-wise to the to the letter with the excerpts that are shown on the Nova program, so I know that he's not telling a tall tale, at least as far as... Okay, so who's the guy in Canada? Which copy goes. 
Um, I'd have to take that letter out. You don't know who sent it to you? Well, I know, I know who it is, but it, it's, um... Tell you what, Harry, you hold on a second? Yeah. Thanks. Uh-oh, hey, Harry. Yeah. You know what? It looks like it was Dave Hawkins after all. Different yeah. address, but same guy. It's it's Fox 2 Beaconsville, Quebec. Yeah, and Beacons that just happens to match up with the collector's archives. So this is the same damn thing. Yeah. I wrote to that in the back of Rolling Stone magazine. Yeah. And that's, I guess that's how he advertises one division of it. Yeah. And then he's got another address that I've been okay, writing. Okay, and does he label it the Thompson film or? No, that's yeah. part of his description in the letter that it's yeah. the film. All that's, right. That's how he uh, differentiates. And that's how I, I got the fifth estate from him, too. And then that's I, how I knew that there was definitely a difference in the film quality. Uh, so what's the best... In other words, you're saying the, the Nova one, as I remember, was quite clear. Yeah, and this is the one Better than have. the Grodin's film. Much better. And that's the one you have right now, all the, you know, whatever happened to the tape in transit, I don't know. And you don't know if this was taken off of the Nova yeah, oh, I, broadcast? It would, or? Yeah, I would have to. Well, no, not taken from the Nova pro broadcast as far as somebody making a copy from Nova and, and taking out the excerpts. No, it was taken from the same tape from, that Nova used. Yeah, it was taken from the original film stock. No question about it because with the Nova... Well, yeah, but I mean, isn't there some kind of enhancement that went on prior to, to, to the Nova thing? Because how come it's so much better than... Uh, than Groton's uh, optical enhancement. Oh, yeah, well, because that's what we did. Me and Charles Jackson, that's what we did. Uh, no, I, I've got a copy of it that came from the Dallas Center that then they must have got from Hawkins. Or I don't know yet uh, how they got it, but uh, it's, you know, it looks the same as yours. I mean, it's very, very clear. Right, okay, well, I, I don't know how far along you've gotten to the film, but the first... Did you optically enhance the, the, the film strips? No, the not video? the film strips per se. We just basically loaded it into the VCR and then from there... But know, how can you optically enhance a, a video? Oh, well, yeah, that's the magic of uh, that guy I was telling you about, Charles. That was, that's why it took so long to get a hold of the guy. Did you but, see him do it? Yeah. Oh, the, I mean... The way he makes them look like, he makes them look easy, but it's, <laughs> he basically had a remote control, and he was blowing up sections. That's why, if you notice, after about 10 minutes, when it shows certain segments, it's a little hit or miss, but then it, he gets it going, I guess, because it was his first time running through the, through, you know, the film. Okay, but, but that film has really not been out of your hands, right? In other words, he, he did it and handed it back to you. Oh, yeah. All right, oh, well... No. Yeah, no question. Well, you better take a look at the one I've got because I think it's identical to the to one that I had here today, although I, I can't see it unless I've got it going very fast. Uh, well, the first all those, in thing. other words, all the, the numbered frames up in the corners and yeah, 30, oh, okay. 30 yeah, feet. Yeah, no, 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 let me explain that. The first 10 minutes of the film is going to be identical because no enhancements were done. It was left as I originally got it from, I it appears now, this is the way I got it from Collector's Archives. That's new uh -huh. to me. Was well, there any way to know on your film that it's then going oh, to be your work as yes. opposed to whoever Definitely. did all that other work on it before? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. How you can tell besides the obvious differences yeah. is okay. the January 5th, 1991 will kick in. You'll see the date on there. It'll oh, I see. Right in January okay. 5th. And from that moment on, so this be the, the last 10 minutes of the film. It's 20 yeah. minutes total. In the last 10 minutes, you are gonna you can't help but notice it. You're going to see split screens blow-ups upon blow-ups, not just yeah. the, the film's already, you know, a little bit more blown up than normal, but this is going to be blow-up on top of blow-up, uh -huh. split screens, um, super slow motion, not just regular slow motion, but like ultra slow motion, and some, some things are backed up and repeated, you can't miss it, yeah, no, there's no question about it that perhaps, maybe, uh, Dave Hawkins, the Collector's Archives, might have been, you know, selling this to other people, but they definitely didn't do any enhancements to it other than, you know, what it's Okay, Charles but Jackson I want to know something. In the first 10 minutes of the film, yeah. of your copy of the film, do you have this business of 18 frames per yeah. second and then 30 second, yeah. uh, 30 frames per second? Do you have occasionally the fr frame number up in the corner? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have, um, uh, let's see, like, uh, you know, a blow up 
of the sequence where he's getting shot in the head and they, they you know, the camera moves in quite a lot closer. It's a blow up. Right. I, yeah, it's, it, well, it's not that, like you're describing the same thing yet. I guess, you That know, was pre-existing before you, you get to the 1991 thing. Right, and it's January 5th on. That's totally unique to Charles Jackson. Okay, but what I described to you is what you've got on your tape. Yeah, so okay. basically what you've done with this phone conversation is you've done, you've narrowed down um, where the film came from as far as where I got it, and then you've also narrowed down the origin of the film. It's not the high select committee. It came from the NOVA broadcast unedited. You know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't shown on TV. It was only shown in little spurts. On the on the you know on the original program. In fact, if you even watch the Nova program, you'll know because they only okay. show a little excerpt and then they cut it to other scenes. So we don't know how Hawkins got it, or you don't know. No, but you know what? He has everything pirated, yeah. Harry. I mean, God, yeah. he's got everything. All right, but now, what, what, how do you? What's the difference in this and the House committees? Or? Well, basically, theirs is like a third generation copy, and it doesn't have the the volume <coughs> of. Uh, blow up stuck it's very obvious how much of a copy it is it's not doesn't have the, the clarity it, it's very striking when i got that one i'm pretty much used to it now but the difference is plain to the Wait, naked in other eye. words you have a film from somewhere that's labeled the, the film that was used by the house no no I, I don't have it labeled but the one that was shown on the fifth estate is the high select committee uh tape you can tell oh, this, like, oh the, i see yeah and so tinket supplied that to them to Tink and or Robert Grove. I don't know who actually physically yeah. produced it, but Tink Thompson... It must have been Grove. ...represented it. Yeah, maybe Grodin that's a gave, bad choice of huh? words there for and from, but huh? yeah, that's what I meant. I mean, it doesn't, ma it doesn't make sense to me that with Grodin on the staff there that he, he didn't supply because he showed that film to the chairman of the committee before they established the committee. Right. Well, I'll tell you what, for what it's worth, even that, you know, the, I got three... Uh, to our tapes of excerpts from the Hot Select Committee and commercials. Well, not commercials, I should actually say news uh, cast uh, clips, you know, just of this era. And whenever they show this the Bruder film, it's always that third generation copy. It's never a nice, clear copy. And, and it's all from obviously what they're showing in the Hot Select Committee uh, hearing. And do you think that, that Groden is the uh, source? I would, you know what, I'd probably bank on that, that he was probably the yeah. source, yeah. All right, but see, isn't he passing that stuff off as optically enhanced? See, I, yeah, I guess, I couldn't find, well, we, Rotoscopes you know, and all this shit. Yeah, I mean, it, no, 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 he, I mean, you got to give him credit for that. I mean, he does do some optical enhancements, but it's not to the level... See, I thought that what he had done, it's very unclear to me what he's done, and... What I'm trying to do here is some detective work because I think that the film is forged and I just went to a lot of trouble and expense to have slides made from my copy of the Thompson film. Right. Uh, which came out, by the way, startlingly clear, these slides. Oh, that's good. Um, and they're making some prints now. But uh, my question is, you know, what you're telling me is that he's pointing off poor copies and we're being told these are optically enhanced. See, and so I don't know how it's done, but I had assumed that he assembled a whole new film after optically enhancing each frame and then links them together and makes a new film out of it. See, is yeah, that, well, is no, that, no, no. Is that yeah. what he did? No, I think what it is, is no, no, there's absolutely no question, 100%. He definitely optically enhanced it. It is not as fine of quality copy. Well, how do you do that? I mean, don't you? Yeah, we'd have to manufacture a new film to do it, right? Uh, not necessarily, no. Because look at the look at I did. I took... Uh, well, how can you optically enhance it? You mean you use another lens? Uh, I'll tell you, I'm, I've had it. I'm, uh, I have so much trouble trying to understand things. I, d <laughs> uh, I never did get your... Wasn't it the paper that you read? By the way, this is a good article in the newspaper oh, that thanks. you sent me, and I appreciate it. Yeah. But uh, at the time, he didn't actually, there weren't any copies of your paper, were there? No, I was one of about three that weren't available yeah. because... Okay, um, but uh, you were going to send me a copy of the of the paper? Yeah. All right, yeah. well, it's, t I mean, you didn't, is, did it come here and I don't know that it was here? Or? No, you want me, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, I really badly need that at this point because... 
because I'm under deadline. <laughs> oh, okay, now. Harry. Yeah, yeah, I'll put it in the mail then. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and oh man, you're bumming me out. So that video didn't turn out that damn. It's 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 completely unviewable. Shit. From beginning to end, I ran it all the way through, and it's useless. Uh, it's as though the tracking is off. But the strange thing is that when it's speeded up, it seems to be fine. You know, and and you can actually hear now when you run it at normal speed on the last part, the Groden thing, which looks very similar to the film called The Sixth Floor that they sell at the Texas School Book Depository, uh, which he had a hand in making, I think. But you you uh, you might want to check that out. But the th when you run that at the normal speed, you can't see it on the screen except just little bits of images. But you can hear the audio all right. God, when, that's the first time I've ever had anything like that happen. They usually, you yeah. know, always... Well, I, I'll send it back to you as soon as I get a chance. And yeah, no problem. I guess, you know, just make it yeah. a copy then. I'll just use a completely different... Just put copy. one label on the outside of the box, you know, rather than on the cassette. Okay. I mean, you can put one label on the cassette, one one on the outside of the box. But uh, it's very strange that the audio would be fine and the image is zilch, you know. Yeah, jeez. Maybe yeah, somebody can tell me, you. I didn't, yeah, geez. Maybe somebody can explain that to you. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's got yeah. magnetized or something in yeah. trans or something. I don't know. Uh, but did you check the film itself before you mailed it? Oh, yeah. To I mean, see if it transferred? I'm a veteran of doing this. Well, I've, I've run off so many copies of videos. Things but, I mean, do, do you check crazy. them before you mail them? Yeah, know? I usually just, you know, back it up a little bit. I can't swear yeah. that I did in your case, but, yeah. I mean, the tracking was fine on both yeah. machines. Yeah, okay, all right, listen, it's it's very late, and I'm just, um, if you could, um, I'm just, I've got to get the, the origin of this particular copy straightened out, because it seems to me that it's a lot better, I mean, the one that I have that came from the Dallas Center, wherever that originated, I don't know. Uh, seems to me to be a lot better than what Groden is showing. And the whole question I'm having is, first of all, I don't know what he means by optical enhancement, whether that means that he takes each frame of the film uh, using a, a lens and optically takes a, another picture of it, you know, uh, so that it's clear in a larger format or something, and then, then assembles a new film from each picture somehow. I don't know how he does this, but the only thing is that there's a big question in my mind whether or not the whole game was to make the film more obscure, because all of a sudden there's this other film around that's a hell of a lot more clear. And then I, we took off of the videotape the other day with a Dunn camera system stills to make slides, and, they're, and the, the firm that did this, it's only two or three of them in the United States, and this one's in Washington, said that they thought it was clearer than a photo, than, a, than if it had been from the film strip. Um, of course, they had some, you know, maybe some digital in the middle there. But uh, there's something real fishy going on here. So if, you know, if you could give a little thought to just what it was that Groden did yeah, and yeah. what the difference is with this film, and if you could sort of try to detective out to track down the, the origins a little bit better here. Okay. But listen, I gotta go. I'm getting sick from talking on the fucking phone. But okay. Don't, please don't forget to send me your paper because I really would. Yeah, and it, I mean, it, I have a whole chapter in my book about the Secret Service, and uh, uh, you know, I'm very interested in that whole issue. Okay, and just like one last thing, you know, just send me back that video, and then I'll just make a whole new tape for you. That's no problem. Yeah, well, if you could try to get that out to me quick, because I've got to see the Groden thing, um, and I'll get this going to you. Okay. But uh, maybe you could try to make another copy, but check it. But I'd put it in a large envelope so it doesn't look like a brick or something. And uh, okay. just put it in a large jiffy bag and and mark it, you know, video, do not x-ray or something. Okay. Uh, if you don't mind. That's fine. Okay. Are you working now? Do you get, the, get your life straightened out a little oh, bit? Oh, yeah. I'm all, all together now. I've got a good job and everything. Back to normal. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang up. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit too fatigued. Ah, uh, oh, it's all right. Yeah, no problem. Take yeah. it easy. Okay. Good night. All right. Bye bye.